one day. I was like, I want it like this, I want it like this, I want the sleeve like this, I want this to be in front, I want this color, I want that. And they were able to literally go and put it together all like exactly how I want it in one day. Also education Only in Ghana. Yes. What's your education about? Uh, what did you learn at school? Okay. This is a very, very good question. Thank you for asking. My mom, thank you, mama. <laughs> uh, she is the best because she put me everywhere. Mm. She said, you're a child, you will have no free time. I lived a different life, not like people live right now. I didn't have a phone to, to be on social to media all day. I did not. We did not do that. For me, it was dancing, languages, drawing, uh, uh, creating, sports. Uh, I mean, thinking, uh, performing, singing playing piano, mm. I mean, basically everything. I did it all, it was class from class, class from class, class from you're, class. You're I went, occupied. it was school, then it was after school, after school, after school. I was on 24 seven. No time to joke around. There was no, nothing, it was that. And then during summer, that's when, thanks father, you know, he's joke the around. one that then, that's the energy master. That's my father. He oh, okay. and the and and nature, uh, education of all of that. He, I grew up on the lake just like Basom tree. It's called it's called Borovoya. B O same two letters. Basom tree, Borovoya. Okay. Um, very similar environment, and I was there with my father, and he just said, "Go to the mountain with that tall one, climb on my own." I'm like, really? And I'm a little, you know. He's like, "Go, go." See you later. He was like that kind of father who gave me freedom to do things that I'm, that I'm meant to do. And he trusted that I'm going to be okay. Mm. And thank God, because you, as a parent, you have to trust that you can let your little girl travel to United States of America mm. as a teenager by herself and she's going to be okay. Mm. Or swim across the lake. Have you informed them? Well, my, my father is now in the spirit world. You know, he's no longer in the physical. Okay. He, he, he transitioned. Um, him and I, my father and I have this type of relationship where we're in communion all the time. Mm. He's the one that brought me to Lake Basom Tree. My father brought me there. Okay. Um, and, Spiritually. Yeah. And he said, uh, explore, enjoy, you know. And I was like, so can I swim across the lake? Yep. Yeah, just a power right decision, go do it. You hear the voice? When my mom, um, when with my mom, uh, she's like, is there gonna be a boat? Is there gonna be a medical? <laughs> yeah, she's looking at your safety. And I'm like, mom, I already did it. You already did it? <laughs> Spiritually done. It's just crazy. You know, so my brother, just like my brother, all right, yeah, that's my sister. I mean, normal life. Mm. I can expect something like that from her. So I have the best family that I can ask for, for the kind of strange, weird, and crazy person like me, that they're able to accept my crazy ideas. Talk about fashion style and all. What's the meaning of those signs that, on your arms? Yeah, thank you so much for asking. Um, so uh, these, these are real tattoos. Mm -hmm. Um, Permanent tattoos. Real, real ink, you know, okay. ink uh, created by uh, extraordinary tattoo artist. One in the in her universe. Her name is Bloom. She uh, works from Paris. Um, and when we were developing this project, um, I decided that these are going to be Venus hands. Okay. The hands of the goddess of Venus. Venus as in the... Venus is the Aphrodite, the beauty goddess. Okay. Like, for instance, in, in uh, Ghana, it would be the equivalent to Asasiya, okay. the goddess. The yeah. goddess. Yeah. So, because in every religion or every um, traditional, uh, you know, culture, there's goddesses and gods, and they all sort of connect. There's thread between them throughout different cultures you know there's like the, the main one then there's a the main woman and so venus um and you know i have some cocoa uh these are these are cocoa fl flowers of the cocoa tree okay so i said we're gonna put the flowers of the cocoa tree because 
Co co cocoa, cacao is the spiritual plant to me. Mm. You know, it's it's a medicine. Uh, it's a it's a herb that has uh, it's great for your heart. It opens okay. the heart. It's uh, healing. It's a healing plant. Right. I look at it. To me, cacao is gold. Mm. So. Um, how about all these things, all these designs on your fingers? Yeah, all of this. So, you know, they're like the, these higher consciousness imprints, you know. So everything I touch with my hands turns to gold. So who got this idea? She, <laughs> <laughs> she got this idea of this design. No, no. You, so so, so I, I, together, it. it was the collaboration. And the purpose was to get what? To achieve what? Uh, to create Venus hands. These hands brought me to the Lake Basom tree. Mm. How, how many years ago? Or oh, how many no, months ago? This was just done right before I arrived to Lake Basom tree. This was done this year in June. Oh, okay. Do you see? In July, I was already on Lake Basom tree. Okay. So there's the direct connection. She used how many days? Oh, this? I just came there and within a few hours it was oh, done. Okay, hours. Yeah. And you have this owl. The oh. <laughs> Thank you for asking. You're good. You know, you're good. <laughs> so I actually raised two real owls. Okay. Uh, there was a period of my life where I uh, became a falconer. Uh, well, actually, falconry is a culture in the background where I'm from. Okay. Um, in Kazakhstan. Have you seen pictures of um, men with these big eagles that yes. go hunt? Go on, That's yeah. fal falconry. Okay. So, but I wasn't working with eagles. I was working with owls. Mm. So, um, and it's, it's a different consciousness, a different element. But I raised two owls. And they look scary. No, no, no. They look scary. No, they're so cute. Mm. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll show you a picture. They're so cute. <laughs> Where are they? Uh, no, I released them to the wild. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, th basically, um, it, it, it was um, owls that required uh, that relationship between human and owl at that time. Okay. And then when they have grown up, and I mean, I 